no woman is meant to go through what I've gone through in the hands of Unguto. Therefore, I call upon you, forces that water the waters, to please come and fight for me. Please fight for me and make him pay a very tough price. You have done well coming here to make this prayer. You are a true daughter of the soil. <laughs> now let me see how that he goat would survive this. Herman, I do not know how you got here, nor how you smuggled yourself into this. But please, I beg you, let this not leave here. Let it remain between us. Please. You are. You are a decent maiden of Ukum Kingdom. And you are qualified to extract any promise from, from me. And this promise is real. I saw the beginning. I have seen the middle. And I will sit calmly and wait for the climax. <laughs> Sam. My mother said you came to my house yesterday more than five times looking for me. Yes. I was even on my way to your place before you arrived. Why? I mean, why the rush? Is it that you're tired of who you are already? I was say, what you are talking about only exists in your imagination. There is nothing between you and I. And I can swear on my life, if that will make you happy. Save me all that. Why were you looking for me? Awase, I want to come and see your people. I was almost forced to tell your mother yesterday. But I decided to wait to finalize things with you. Why? Why the desperation? Is it that you're tired of you already? And what you intended to achieve with you are, you couldn't achieve? I was say, you are the woman I love with everything in me. Listen, I'll tell you the truth. This has nothing to do with you are. My uncle, Uncle Gawan, threatened to marry a wife for me if I fail to do it for myself. I am urgent about this because I want to break them to the game. And that's why I want to make it happen with the woman that means the whole world to me. The woman that means the whole world to you? The same woman you accused of cheating? What changed? I was say, I love you with everything. I was stupid. I was wrong. Please, forgive me. You are my sunshine in the day. My moonlight at night. You are that woman that means everything to me. You are the most beautiful of them all. No man can walk away from your beauty. Please, come back to me. Give me the go-ahead to start up things. Please. Please. Awesome. You know, you said the nicest of things. You have a way of crawling into my heart. And that's why I gave you myself willingly. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You know I love you, right? 
And yes, <laughs> you have my permission to go ahead with the marriage plans. Hey! Hey! Uncle Gawan! <laughs> Here comes your bride. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for finally coming to answer me. I'm delighted. Fana, what's the reason for this? I just wanted to tell you before you hear it from anyone else. Tell me what? That I'm getting married. I don't understand. You're getting married to who? <laughs> who I'm getting married to is not a problem for now. The point is, we have been dating for so long now and you've not made any efforts to make me your wife. But you have not discussed about it before. And why do you think I'm not I'm not I'm not thinking towards that direction? Why? Truth be told, you are not. You and I know that you're one of the biggest farmers in this kingdom. Yet, you don't have any plans of getting married. And that's why I've said yes to the new suitor. <sighs> and who is this man that you said yes to? Don't worry. When the time comes, you'll find out. Just wanted to tell you. Hi. Look at the woman I want to make my wife. She has impatiently cancelled everything. I'm afraid. I cannot stop. Every part of you has consumed me. Every part. All the while you were with my friend, I... I yearned for you. Nguto, it is so wrong. In fact, it is against the laws of nature. How can you be lost after a woman who belongs to your friend? But you do not belong to my friend. Neither does it belong to you. You are a free maiden of this land. The law of nature, the forces of nature, does not allow you both together. That is why you have issues. That is why you're separated. We are not separated. We are just having issues, which is natural in relationships. We are going to settle and move on. Exactly. Just not the way you see it. He has moved on. And I think you should do the same. My friend doesn't see you as anyone he wants to come close with. He said you're a thief. And he cannot have anything to do with the thief. He's, he said that to you? I'm a full-fledged thief, man. I do not have time to fabricate lies or stories just for my personal interest. He said you took one bag of his money and then you went and lavished it, blew it on merchants in Edu and on Uchado. And to him, you were nothing but a waste of time. I wonder why you, why you keep recreating things back and forth. I made it clear to you. I spoke in plain language. I said, we are done. I am done with this relationship. Can't you get it? Why can't you just respect my decision? Same way. I love you. I want you to give me the opportunity to prove it.
will he be calling her a goddess when she is a thief? If I leave Guto, he is going to lure her and defile her for that is all he knows how to do. But I am not going to marry a maiden who can squander all my money. sold your engagement because of an unverified promise from Gawan. How can you do such a thing? Why are you so jealous? Instead of you to be happy for me that I'm getting married to someone like that, you're here talking nonsense. What is this? Wait. Let me ask you. This man you are getting married to, have you even interacted with him? How sure are you that he is going to be your husband? Are you by any means trying to say that someone like Gawan will start a process like this when he's not sure of it? Is that what you're trying to say? Gawan, to the best of my knowledge, he has not even started any process. He just mentioned something to you and you have already gone to cancel your marriage with your fiance. Why are you so jealous? You see why I don't like confiding in you? You're full of negativity. What is this? What? Are you working out on me? Because I made an effort to correct you as a friend. Correct yourself. Now let me warn you. Don't discuss this with anyone. Because if you do, you won't like what I'll do to you. Rubbish. Find it! What has come over this maiden? Funny! Uncle, I decided not to give you space to marry any woman in my name. <laughs> Awase here remains my woman, and she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I asked her before if she was ready, and she agreed. So I'm not going to ask her again. Or should I ask you again? <laughs> no, Uncle. Actually, we, we had little misunderstanding, but we have reconciled. Reconciled, never to separate mm -hmm. again. Good. <laughs> Good. So, when are we going to meet our people? That is actually why I came. I want to know when it will be convenient for you. I've informed her people, and they told me they will receive us anytime we come. So, can we go right away? Uncle, that would be so sudden. Can we say tomorrow? Good. And now you are talking. <laughs> uh, because you are the one who should be telling me when you want us to go and meet your in-law. Ah, Not well. asking me when it is convenient for me. Because you know it has always been convenient for me. I want to see you married. Thank you so much, uncle. Thank you so <laughs> much. No problem. We are going tomorrow. And uh, don't bother yourself about the hot drinks. The strong drinks that will be used. Don't bother yourself. I'm going to provide all of them. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank You're you so much. You're welcome. Thank You're welcome. So You're welcome. 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 I know why you opened up to me. Uh, you did because you know I will give you the best advice. <laughs> My advice is simple. Forget about her. How can you even say that? She's the one in the center of my life. <laughs> and she's the one I want to marry. How can I possibly forget her? The moment she called you and boldly told you face to face that she has said yes to another man is the moment you would have forgotten about her. Huh? There are so many beautiful maidens in the Kum Kingdom. It is an abomination for a thief man to cry <laughs> for a woman. And who told you I'm crying? Anduka, 
You are suppressing your tears. For even as you speak, you are crying. Beat her to it and marry a maiden today. Are you saying this right now? Marry a maiden today? How is that possible? Sekal's fifth wife gave birth to a boy. And he has killed a big fat cow for the child's naming ceremony. That is where I'm going from here. Come with me, for there will be a lot to eat and drink. <laughs> uh, you might even find a maiden you can talk to. <laughs> you are not helping me with the way you are talking. I'm in agony because I've loved Fanen with everything in me. <laughs> Don't allow people to hear you crying because a woman left you for another. Huh? Marry another today. And be happy. Let's go. Uh, as you can see, there is no wine here. <laughs> Sekav might have bought all of them. <laughs> what have I done to Fanen to treat me this way? You mean to tell me that you sat down and thought of this rubbish you spewed out from your mouth and it sounded okay in your ears? I don't know why you're making it appear to me as if I have asked an abominable thing. You and Nguto do not have a future. You both have fallen apart. So I want you to stay very far away from him because I want him to be mine. You really want me to stand here listening to this low life? What I will not take from you is calling me names. Look at this thing who has not managed to attract a man to herself. Standing here and calling me names. Who are you? And you that you have been able to attract all the men to yourself. Why are you here asking this maiden to leave her man for you? You want to know why? <laughs> I will answer you. Her said man came to me. And he proposed. He has seen in me what he has not seen in her. And I have decided to give him what he wants. So I want this thing to leave the space for me. What happened between you and Vereshima? Nguto is the man. Talk about him, please. That's enough. Now I want you to turn and leave this place before I lose it and beat life out of you. You are just a fool for saying that. Wait, wait, Shema! Shema, Shema, Shema stop! stop. Uh. 
I know you are wondering why I am dressed like a queen. I am indeed a queen of Thieveland, and not even a man like you can take my shine away. What's the meaning of this? What? I don't understand. What exactly is the meaning of this? The forces that water the waters have reason to show you that you are nothing. What does that mean? Loser! Have you started to count your losses? What is going on here? Why are you both acting like your partners now? And you? Why do you call me a loser? Because you are indeed a loser. Go around the whole of Thieve land. Ask questions. And they will tell you that. Even the best of hunters do not chase after two animals at the same time. For if he does so, he will end up with nothing. That proverb means nothing to me. I mean, it, it's, it's meaningless to me. You know why? Because I'm not a hunter. I'm a businessman. A money lender. I have the high and mighty come to me to borrow money. So I do not know what you're talking about. Only peasants like you that has lost for me will understand that proverb. By the time the forces that water the waters are done dealing with you, you will realize that men who are men do not deceive a woman who loves them genuinely. For when a woman loves, she loves unconditionally. I want to understand something. First of all, why are you both dressed like queens? We are dressed like queens because you are the one spiritually financing us. As you used all the lies to undress us, you will spend all your money dressing us back. And when you cry, no one will be there to listen. Many men in my age grade can boast of this amount of money. None. <laughs> What's the matter with this? Forces that water the waters. I am actually so surprised. So surprised to see that this is who you are. How can a maiden like you see a man like me and you will not greet? How? 
Are you expecting me to be happy? What have you done to me? I don't understand. What did I do to you? I gathered that Pasem got married yesterday. Yes? How is that a reason for you not to greet? Why did you do this to me? What did I do? Is he not the same person you said was going to be my husband? How come you finally led him to marry another woman? And you don't even see anything wrong in what you did? Okay, I told you that you are going to become wife to my nephew. What effort did you make as a woman to familiarize yourself with the man? You never went to him one day to do anything that can entice him. You did nothing, absolutely nothing. I, Why are you blaming me now? I am not supposed to do what you're saying. For you know that our tradition forbids women from throwing themselves at men. Well, my nephew is married now and he's living with his wife. There is nothing we can do about it. Are you aware that I cancelled my engagement with my fiancé because of this? I don't understand. You. You have a fiancé. There is a man in your life. Why did you tell me this before? You never asked! But I called you. And I was very blunt. I told you that I want you to become wife to my nephew. And we were actually planning. Why didn't you tell me that there was a man in your life? When you are tired of pacing here, you just get out. What are you doing here this early? What kind of spiritual game are you playing with me? Spiritual game? What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Have you done something to me? I don't understand. You don't understand? Something like what? The forces that water the waters. What does that mean? Answer me! Those were the same words you used when you took me to the stream. It was my first time of hearing such words. How then do you expect me to explain what you said yourself? I still think that you shouldn't say anything. Do not do this here. You're committing yourself so much and I, and I feel you should stop. I do not want anything to happen to you. Nothing will happen to me. Because I am speaking the truth right here by the body of water. I love you. I'm not painting words. I'm not deceiving you. I am standing here and the body of the water, like you call it, can hear me clearly. I love you and I'm never going to leave you. I want to make you that promise right inside the water. I still think you shouldn't. I do not want you to do it, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. I know you love me. And I love you too. But you shouldn't make any promises. Tomorrow you might begin to develop cold feet for me and, and decide to dump me. Don't ever say that again. I hate it when you sound like that. I love you. I will never dump you. Unless you're planning to dump me. Why would you say that? Why in this world would I be planning to dump you when, when I gave myself wholeheartedly to you? Let us go inside the water. Let me make you this everlasting promise.
Oh, ye forces that water the waters. I'm sure you can see and hear me. I attest to the fact that I love this beautiful woman called Iyua. And to bear me witness that I will never, ever leave her. Are you telling me that you've not done anything to me that warranted the disturbing dream I had last night? The forces that water the waters have reason to show you that you are nothing. Can you still deny that you do not know what I am talking about? Because that was exactly what she said in my dream. You're not saying anything. That's exactly what she said in my dream. Oh. You're welcome. I, I thought you would have been ready by now. What's holding you? I would have been ready. If not for his interruption, I would have been ready. And who is he? I beg your pardon? Who is he? He's my ex. Unguto. The one I told you about. Oh. The one who could not keep a woman's secret, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this what you go about telling people about me? Is this how you've been damaging my name? Did I go about doing what? Ben Shima is the son of the king. He just returned from Edo. And he has stated his intentions clearly that he wants me to be his wife. So do you really think I shouldn't tell him about my past when I've agreed to be his wife? must be joking. Addressing me as your ex, your past alone, must be a joke. How do you think you can give another man your consent when I'm not done with you, when we are not done with what we have, when he's not dead and we never die? I'm, I'm sorry. Let me just quickly keep this. The sweeping can continue when I return. Uh, 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 uh. You can't continue when you return. I will, I will continue on your behalf. You can go. go. Thank you. Are, are you leaving? Leave it with him. You're... You're... You're leaving with him. Ah. I am trying very hard to understand what you want me to go do there. Please, I brought you here so you can help me out. Please. I don't understand. Help you with what exactly? Look, I understand. I agree that I, I, I lost it at some point and shot myself on the leg. But please, I need you to help me talk to him. Help you? How? Fanon, we are talking about a young man who has just married a new wife. How can you possibly send me to him to go and be talking about his ex? But it's me who wanted to marry. Then you called him and cancelled everything because you felt you found someone better. Now that reality is done on you, you should know that you have already lost him and move on. Mimido, I cannot move on. I need him back in my life. Please help me talk to him. Please. Please. Uh -huh. If you are sure she has moved on, I mean, you shouldn't be feeling like this. You were the one that did things that pushed her away. You just lost that wonderful maiden. So you knew she was that wonderful. Why did it take you so much time to say it? What difference would it have made? I mean, you put up one attitude. You decided to just do a thing that would discourage her from coming close to you. And she lost interest. The problem is not the fact that I lost her. The problem is she must have done something to me. Something like what? All right. Are you aware she's now friends with Ngwemo? 
Who is Nguemo? Good. Do you remember that maiden you saw me with the very afternoon you brought the bars and left in anger? Well, I do not know what they've said to themselves. But I know that they're best of friends now. Best of friends. See, if you will listen to me, forget about her. That's what I can say. Forget about her. Unfortunately, I saw them in my dream. They looked at me in the face and tell me that I will lose all the money I have. Lo and behold, and when I woke up, I discovered that there was no dime in my heart. Eh? They are thieves too. Ha! What are you waiting for? My friend, there are things beyond human comprehension more spiritual and trust me I don't know how best to describe it I know no no you need to find a way to describe it I mean you need to find a way put it together and give it a description for this is crucial by the way what did they really steal what did they take from you that qualified them to be seen as thieves I'm still trying to understand where you got the concept of keeping drinks and people come to drink and pay later. <laughs> hey man, you will not understand. Uh, this has been a long standing tradition of the thief people. For they know that no one can come and take what does not belong to him. <laughs> mm. So are you actually trying to say that people that come to drink in your absence, they will pay the exact cost of what they drank? Exactly, Yondokai. They pay me whenever they see me. And I am not complaining. And that is the reason why I have always been able to provide them with what they want to drink. I need to take my leave now. I still have more trees. To tap. Okay. Hmm? Go well, my friend. Thank you. Enjoy the drink. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. see, in my next life, mm -hmm. I will remain a thief man. <laughs> there is nowhere you can see this in the world. <laughs> uh, you know, I brought you here to to appreciate you mm. for the role you played in 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 making me see my wife. <laughs> I was thinking that Fanon was the choosing one <laughs> until the ghost of Thieve Land used her disappointment to show me my wife. I am grateful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what I can take from this is that you are enjoying your new wife. Enjoying is an understatement. <laughs> she's, she's, she's an epitome of fulfillment in marriage. Mm. <laughs> and I will forever remember the role you played. <laughs> so, do you have any business? Like, uh, why is she kneeling down? I don't know why you'd be asking me such a question. All I see is a maiden kneeling before you. Ask her what the problem is. What is the problem? Why are you kneeling down? Please, I am doing this because of my friend. Her life is in your hands, oh. and she will die if you refuse to forgive her. Hmm. Fanny sent you to come and put this stunt. Did she not tell you what she did? She discovered that she committed a blunder, and now she is ready to take back her words. <clears throat> it is too late. I got married three days ago, and I've come to realize that the spirit of my family allowed Fanny to break my heart, to enable me to go out and find my wife. Did you not hear what I said? She will die if you don't forget. Uh, let her die. Let her die and I will bury her in the pig farm. Mm -hmm. And the pigs will dig up her body and eat her bones. <laughs> Why are you saying this? She has realized her mistakes and she is ready to apologize. Mm. <laughs> I have already forgiven uh, 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 Fanny, even without her apologies. Hmm? But we cannot be together. Because I'm married already. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh, 
Hey, Anguto. Uh, the greatest palm wine tapper of Okum Kingdom. You look angry, I mean, uh, you seem to be heading to my house. Anguto, I was actually going to your house. In fact, I need you to explain to me what is going on. I don't understand. What is going on where? Nguto, if you say you don't understand, that means you want to get this matter worse. What do you mean by want to get? Get the matter worse. Now look at this man. I don't understand. What do you mean by want to? Have, have I drunk from your, 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 your palm wine? Your, your palm, have I drunk from your palm wine without pain? What do you mean by you, 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 you want to get it worse? Get it worse! What's bringing all this attitude? Why would you ask them to fall the tree and clear the bush? Huh? When I've already paid you for those palm trees. Why? I don't understand. What are you what, what, what are you talking about? They fell all the trees. Brushed the whole bush. For the palm wines that I've already paid you for. Now the trees are gone. And I have not even tapped for any of them. Why? You're, you're, you're joking, right? What do you mean I'm joking? I am telling you exactly what happened. They cut down the whole palm trees, brushed the, 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 the entire bush. And I know there's nobody that will do that without your own permission. And I've paid you for all of them. Why would you do a thing like that? Why, Nguto? <sighs> Does he mean he's not aware? They will not give the orders. Ha. The simple truth is that you have lost him. He is married and he is strangely seeing you breaking up with him as a blessing. Is that what he told you? As he is finally married to another woman, he has transferred all his love to her. And he believes the spirits in his family made you break up with him so he can find the right woman. Why did I listen to Gawain, eh? I won't forgive that man. If you ask me, that man did nothing wrong to you. You will say that. For you don't know what he told me. Anything he told you is from a place of interest. A place of love. The man wanted the best for his nephew. And that is him settling with you. I mean, the man actually saw you as the best. Why are you defending this man? <laughs> he shouldn't have come to me if he was not sure that his nephew would settle for me. That is the question begging for an answer. Why didn't you tell him that you were already engaged? The Gawan that I know, I am sure he will back off if you had given him this information. I could not have given him that information because I felt Adoka was not a serious person. So you made your choice by withholding the vital information from the man. So why saying you will deal with him? Everything is completely crashing in my hands. Why am I losing everything? You knew you were lying. You knew you had other plans. Why then did you take her to the strength to swear? What did you just say? If you must lie to humble a woman, why not lie and continue lying to cover your lies? <laughs> you decided to take her to the stream to humble her. <laughs> and my friend, you finally humbled yourself. <laughs> are, you, are, are you saying that all I am passing through now is as a result of what I did at the stream. 
You should have known it yourself. Those forces that water the waters will not have pity on you. Do not make promises you wouldn't fulfill. Hey. Do not make a vow you don't want to keep. Why are you still being too hostile towards me? You even went and told your friend that I am a thief. Are you not? Are you not a thief? Okay, let's say you are not a thief. If you say you are not a thief, why would you take what you did not keep? Tell me, why would you take what you did not keep? Are you aware that your said friend has been planning to steal from you? How do you mean? I am your woman. And you know the level of risk that I am prepared to take for your sake. Your friend, your supposed friend whom you went to tell that I am a thief. He has been making an effort to steal me from you. And why didn't you allow yourself to be stolen? Why didn't you allow him to steal you from me? Listen, I want you to know this. I am no longer prepared to lament because of you. If you feel you have a future with this same friend of mine who will still go around, who will still go and save people and tell them the shape of your privates. Enjoy. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I mean, I'm losing everything and it appears I cannot stop what is happening to me. I am trying to understand how you want me to come in. Okay, can you at least stand? Can you stand? I wish I could. But I can't. I'm stuck here. I need your help. You don't understand. I'm losing everything. I, and I feel I may have done something that has crippled my life by taking the maiden of Ufkum Kingdom to Ufkum Stream to make a vow. Ah, we, if you, a man of Ukum Kingdom, has taken a maiden of Ukum Kingdom to do constraint to make a vow, it actually means you are a man indeed. How is it a problem? You don't understand. I broke the vow. And um, the, the forces that water the waters are against me. I mean, they're after me. It feels like I'm losing everything in quick succession. Then my compound should not be your destination. You should be heading to that stream where you should be pleading with the forces that water the waters to have pity on you. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I've come to you to help me. Uh, uh, can, I, can I... Can I pay for it? Money is not actually the issue here. The issue is that there are things that men must do by themselves without involving anybody. This is one of them. I know my fate if I go to that stream. I'll definitely go, but I'll come back in pieces. I, I, it's not a good idea for me to confide in me. Tell me the truth. Man to another man. Did you murder the lady? No, of course not. Far from it. What did you do? Um, she... She's connecting to one of the, the princes of Hukum Kingdom and she'll agree to marry him. If a maiden you made a vow to and later went back on the vow has moved on to the extent that she now has somebody who she is going to marry and they are planning to get married, you don't have a problem. You don't understand. She... She caged me. She caged me before, before she said yes to him. Then I am insisting that your destination should be the stream. Where you must have to plead with the forces that water the waters to forgive you. Hey, listen, you must have to do this before she is married. If you fail to get this forgiveness before she is married, 
it will mean that the husband will now be the one who will forgive you. And when that time comes, at that particular point, so many men will not even listen to you. You are actually the one I am waiting for. Who? Oh, Who? Oh. Mm. You. <sighs> Can you please give me the chance to right my wrongs with you? What does that mean? Can we please talk in private? I saw the warfare from afar, but I could not get the dialogue. <laughs> what did you do to her? <laughs> Swear with anything you hold sacred that you weren't the one who told her things about me. Uh, what do I know about you that I can tell anyone? Huh? I did not tell her anything. <laughs> you listen to me. But I know that you are one who will destroy himself. <laughs> you listen to me. Pay attention, Henman. Let this be the last time you poke nose into my affair. Do you understand me? Stay away from me! Uh, I'm far away from you, huh? But the time will come <laughs> when you come one on one with the consequences <laughs> of your bad decisions. Then, then you remember, remember me. me. My friend, you will remember me. <laughs> me. He spoke to me then like, like he saw today. Why is he not talking now? Reshima, I'm going to be very sincere with you. I cannot be your woman. Why? Where, where did I get it wrong? See, what happened between me and Simbi was not my fault. She proved to me that she cannot be the woman I want, that she can't be my wife. She cannot spend the rest of her life with me. Then, I mean, I just asked her to find another. That's all. The same way you wake up tomorrow and ask me to find another man. No! I can't do such a thing. See, that man you used to know is not the man standing here. I have changed. I want to make you my wife at once. There won't be that time for me to even think of changing my mind. Please, uh, listen, I know, I, know, I, know, I know I've done a whole lot to you, but can we not just talk about the past? Please, I need you to forgive me. We can be friends. Huh? Please, forgive me. I'm sorry. But the great man, I already told you what you must do. Why are you still wasting time? If I go, considering what I have done, if I go to the stream alone, the, the forces that water the waters might, might kill me. Oh, so you decided to take me along with you so they will kill me equally. 
If you haven't done anything wrong to them, I'm sure they wouldn't hurt you. My friend, we need to resolve this once and for all. The one who fetched the ants infested firewood should expect the lizard to visit his compound for a feast. Let him deal with the lizard. Count me out. Hey, man, 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 man. I mean, you've always, you've always been a good person. The only thing a brother is asking you to do for him, you're not, you're not going to do it. If being a good man means I must present myself to be killed for one without a conscience, <laughs> then I cease to be a good man. Good luck. What is happening to me? As he has said, he will not waste time in chasing shadows. He is interested in making you his wife. And I feel you should accept him immediately. Never. Men like that who derive pleasure in discussing in the open what they do with their women in the secret, they do not deserve women of class. Are you saying he's also doing the same thing? <laughs> he's in Guto's friend. And I know that he will never change. I am not going to marry a man like that. And with what I now know, <laughs> it will be difficult for any of them to get any maiden in this land to agree to marry them. I, I still don't understand. What have we come here to do? I mean, why did you bring me here? It's about my past I told you about. I mean, the things Ubuntu said to me. I know somewhere in your heart you'll be feeling that I'm a loose woman. Stop saying such. Please. And I never told you. I was even thinking anything like that. Bem Shima. You are not thinking such, for you are a good man. But the heart is deceitful. Someday you might begin to think such. And if we do not take action now, you may, you may start behaving cold towards me. That's why I've brought you here, in this dream, to vow to you that as long as I remain your wife, no other man will see the woman in me. Here you are. I am a prince. And I will never let you make that call. Never. Why? Why are you stopping me? Please, I really need to do this. I want to prove to you that you mean so much to me. Please. I know you love me. And I love you too. And that love which has led us to become man and wife is already enough vow. As long as I'm alive, I will love no other but you. That I promise. She caged me before. Before she said yes to him. Then I am insisting that your destination should be this dream. We are, you must have to plead with the forces that water the waters to forgive you. Hey, listen, you must have to do this before she is married. If you fail to get this forgiveness before she is married, it will mean that the husband will now be the one who will forgive you. And when that time comes, at that particular point, so many men will not even listen to you. There is no reason for you to make any vow. None at all. Thank you, my husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nguto, is a man we like a woman. It's always available for any woman. And when you chop, we 
go talk, how we take a pun. So everybody go come no sing, good or don't chop you. Ayo, the first guy person be this for you. Ayo, he's not a property man, no, no. Ayo, the first guy person be this for you. Ayo, good or woman, no chase up. Too like woman, no, yeah, yeah, yeah.